What's up guys, it's your boy, back at you with another video, you get me? Um, for those of you unaware of what this channel is, this is basically me selling shit on eBay and going to the car boot and showing you guys what I'll be selling. <laughs> Crazy enough. But basically guys, today I went to the car boot, had an okay-ish day, fucked up a little bit, you get me? And I just thought it was a good day to do a little video, show you my mini haul. And um... Basically, I'm going to try and keep today's one quick because I'm just behind on stuff. It's late in the day. I had to upload today's video, which is meant to be uploaded yesterday, which means not this video, but yesterday's video has got to go up today. Two videos in one day to catch up. And I've got to do my four listings. For those of you unaware, I'm listing four at the minute. Um, yeah, I'm listing four a day, which means I'm trying to source for that. You get me? I say I'm trying to source four items a day, but... It just ends up being what I can get a hold of, and um, yeah. So, other than that, guys, I'll show you what I picked up, and I'd say I'll show you what I sold. But it's weekend, and I don't really kind of like shit my orders on Saturday and Sunday, so we leave that to weekdays. So, other than that, guys, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I appreciate everyone who's rolled through the last couple of videos, everyone who's subscribed. It really helps because. To be honest, eBay is so hard nowadays, I feel like the only potential way for me to ever do this full time in terms of having financial freedom of any kind is to grow a little bit of a following alongside this. I feel like that's the magic combo nowadays, social media and whatever you're doing, do them two together. And hopefully through that, you can break free of this motherfucker. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll flip around now and show you guys what we got. A little bit out of breath, you know. So basically, I've got a couple of things here. And I did fuck up on one of them, but we'll run through that. Um, okay, so we start with this. This is... Um, does this come off here? This is basically a Goodman's vintage hi-fi system. At least the speaker looks in good condition. For those of you who are unaware, these do come off some of these. And also, you can take pictures like this with them off if it looks like cool in there. Because some of the speakers actually look better than the cover. And you want to kind of show that up in a picture. Pictures. You know what I mean? I learned that from eBay research. I didn't even know these come off until I saw other sellers displaying them with them off. Anyway, I got this hi-fi system. It's a double cassette thing with a CD changer. The woman promises me it works, but you never know with these things. I'm guessing at least one of these cassettes don't work because that's always the case. But say for example if it all works, even if one of the cassette slots is broke, I honestly believe for this type of model, it's kind of, it's got a CD player and no turntable, it's more like an early 2000s model, maybe late 90s. So we're looking at... I'd say between 70 and 80 pounds for this. If it works perfectly, probably push a little bit higher, close to the 100 mark. The only reason I'm saying about 70 to 80 is because for the vintage ones with a turntable on top, mostly work or all working with like one of the cassette slots can be broke because it's always the case. One cassette, one cassette slot is always mash up. Anyway, I'll be selling them for about 95, between 80 and 100 pounds for a vintage one. This is still vintage, but vintage -er with the turntable. Like, this isn't a turntable system. So, I don't know. The last time I saw the silver one like this in the 90s, though, I did get, like, 80, 85 for it. But also, guys, when I'm walking away like I'm finished, yeah. Also, I sell shit cheap, so bear that in mind. That's why I sell it rapid. I don't be waiting for no madness. I just want it sold and money in the pocket. So anyway, guys, <laughs> you won't believe how much I paid for this. If this works, this is a finesse. I got it for three pound. You don't even want to know. The woman come talking about four pound. I was like, how about three? She said, yeah. So, you know, I got this vintage army rucksack of some kind. It's one of them ones that I think it like clips onto your shit like this. You know what I mean? So you'd be running around hut, 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 with this bag here full of grenades and shit something like that these do good the last time the last batch of army shit i got it's all gone i made so much money selling this army shit the rigs like the body armor not the body armor the things that hold all your um, magazines around your waist and shit i'll be getting like 30 to 60 for them um i sold a bag 
a vintage rucksack waterproof one had the date on it like 1980 something sold that for like 80 quid or some shit all the rucksacks be doing good i guarantee you for this rucksack it is vintage and it's old if i can find any sort of date stamp on it makes it worth more you get me but just assuming i'm gonna go 25 to 50 pounds for that bag i paid three pounds for the bag so i'm happy with that um y'all might be looking like it's dirty and old but the more dirty and old the better with this stuff because the people who buy this stuff don't want new they want like the original army shit because it's like them people who do like them fucking normandy fucking recreation days and shit you get me <laughs> or like people who do airsoft if you label it with like army bag and also use airsoft in there you get me because people who do airsoft if you watch on youtube they literally dress up like they're from world war ii and shit it's crazy so it's either airsoft people or people doing like normandy fucking recreation things you get me three pound either way i got these i'm gonna say this quietly because it's my son's birthday coming up so i'm gonna keep one of these for him because i got two and it's basically a AVFC. Actually, he's not even in the house right now, so I don't need to whisper. I've got this Aston Villa football club curtains times two. Um, I mean, I've got two lots. Like, there's obviously a pair of curtains in here, I think. Um, yeah. So, anyway, the packaging's a bit ripped on, one, on this packet, but I'll give this one to my son. Fuck it. So, I looked. I got both of them for seven pounds. I looked online online and did like a quick price compare. I found one listed for like £24. I think it had some shipping. Check the solds. This guy has sold a couple of them. It's Aston Villa. They're doing well at the minute. My son loves them. He, he watches all the games. And I know nowadays Villa are a half decent team. But back when I was a kid, we, was, we, was a, like, we weren't that good. You get me? <laughs> so I'm guessing Villa's popping at the minute. So they be selling. So I'll make some money off that. Next thing, guys. Um, I got is this is the thing I fucked up on actually and it's kind of funny but I wanted to scream when I got home like you know when like you was like you're like <laughs> fuck <laughs> it was like that you know what I mean so I flipped the camera around to show you what peed me off so here's another villa thing with the villa stadium I found this at the boot sale for my son funny enough my dad had this actual picture when I was a kid it might even be the same one probably not you know what I mean but um, yeah, the glass broke on it. So now it's just in here waiting to be repaired for my kid. I got this little TV anyway. This is what I effed up on. And it works, you know. I tested it as soon as I got in. But I was worried it wasn't going to work when I got it off the guy. I asked him, how much for this telly? He's like a 19 inch. Um, he was like, three pound. And then he's like, look, it has the remote. And he brought the remote to man. And I was like, ah, I hesitated for a sec. But then I took it, obviously, three pounds within my budget. If it works, that's perfect for a tv um because with the remote i would have got for the well i don't know i don't know to be honest i'm i sell this so much like variety of sizes and shit of tvs i'm guessing it will sell in this size between between 30 and 40 pounds somewhere in there probably 29.99 now you get me um the reason i say now is because the way i fucked up with this is I bought these two things and as I was picking up the second thing and putting this in the bag I left the remote on the mat and I didn't notice till I got home and then when I got home I was like rah I left the remote you know ah and it peed me off because I always get TVs never with the remote once in a blue moon I'll get a remote and it was refreshing because I was like your man has the remote you know your man has the remote and I fucking left the remote you get me this is an ugly ass TV by the way it's thick too like, why the fuck is it so th so thick? Not even a DVD player, and it's just thick, but it's light, you get me? So it ticks the boxes, light, thick isn't part of the boxes, has all the buttons, good quality buttons, because if they're shit quality buttons, and you turn it on, and the, these, the on buttons have got a gap as well, if the on button's too close to the source button, and they're cheap buttons, sometimes you press on, or you press source, and it turns the telly off, it's just a madness. I was chuffed they had the remote, even though I left it. Um, which peed me off. Oh shit, it's got built-in free view as well, you know. So it's got the built-in free view. You know what I mean? And I was gassed. I was like, yeah, with a remote, I'll get 35. And then he did.
didn't have the remote, so now it's probably a 29.99 thing, but I paid three pounds for it, and it definitely will sell. Over the last, I'm getting out of breath, guys, like, <laughs> doing all this talking. Over the last six months, I've sold a significant amount of TVs, guys, so I'm 1,045% sure this will sell between 28 and 35 pounds. If I can push higher, because sometimes the market fluctuates, maybe there's no little baby TVs in um, stock at the minute, so I can overprice for that motherfucker. But yeah, I was peed off, because I didn't get the remote, guys, and uh, honestly... As a reseller, you know this, like, that pained me big time. Anyway, this was on the mat next to it. Well, I know what you guys are going to think when you see this shit. <laughs> it's long story short, for those of you who have been living in a box while everyone else has been, like, learning the ways of the world, this is a, a light timer, typically used in a grow room. You get me? So, you set this shit to, like, the hours of the day somehow. And, oh my god. Funnily enough, it's been set to flower, 12 hours on, 12 hours off, so some motherfucker done a fresh flower with this and then ran, you get me, and brought this to the car beat, so, anyway, I got these two both for a fiver, and I'm, I mean, you see light timers like this in like B&Q, but this is Lumi, which is like a half decent sort of hydroponics company, and it's got the extension cord attached to it, which... It's cool. Actually, I've never seen one like this. So it's just an extension cord with a light timer attached to it. Whereas usually someone would have just a light timer and you... Yeah. So this is good, actually. So I'll sell that. I'll test it first to make sure it works because shit's shaking in it. But it's just because it's not screwed like on properly. Yeah, me. So I think there's like a little piece in there which is like shaking about. But I will test that. Tested the telly. I've got to test that stereo. So basically guys, today I've got to do four listings, so that should do it. I've got one, two, three, four for the stereo. If this middle, the main part of the stereo is brokers, then I can list the speakers. Hopefully it's not all broke. So anyway, one, two, three, two, three, four, the stereo, five, the bag, five listings today. So bad looks for guys. Yeah, that's all I've got. Five items. Not a crazy day, but a day nonetheless. Now, um, you know sometimes I get like a bit of anxiety about doing these videos. I'm a little bit like, because I barely, this is like literally a fucking hobbyist level thing at the minute. It's been like that for a while. Like I always think like someone's going to jump on in the comments and be like, this ain't even a business, you ain't even making that. Like, at the end of the day, this is, I'm... It's consistency, yeah, I me. Mean, I might not be listing a hundred a day, or whatever, but I'm at the car boot sale all the time, and things be selling for me, and like, I have stock, some half decent stock, I've got a small store, profitable store, you know I me, mean? so I'm just aiming for that small, niche, profitable store, and just consistency, consistently keep getting half decent items, sell that shit, eat, sleep, and repeat, and just do this YouTube channel along with it and hopefully like things pick up and I've got like a I ain't gonna announce shit yet guys because it's early days um, but I've got a little sneaky little other business idea which I've literally technically launched but and it's it's like it's a sneakers you know it's basically free to do um, and like yeah, it's gonna be fun so basically I'm gonna do this and just do my thing so anyone who wants to subscribe to the channel and follow along and maybe you can teach me something I can teach you something we can all just work together in this against the oppression yet me fucking we're all sick of this slavery shit that I've got us doing yet me so anyone who wants to join in learn a little bit about making extra cash teach me a little bit about making more cash maybe someone out there can leave a comment which will kick me into shape to fucking just do better in life yet me so other than that, I appreciate everyone who's rolled truth. Anything else I need to do before I, I stop the video? And then, yeah, so we talked about the things that I got from the boot sale. We're not talking about sales today because um, it's Sunday. But tomorrow will be Monday and we'll be talking about anything that's sold. And whatnot. So you guys will see if I've sold anything from picking up over the last week and like the last few videos. You guys will see what sells and like, you'll be able to laugh 
at me. <laughs> if you if I don't make no money, or you can learn something. You know what I mean? It's one of the things. YouTube content at the end of the day. So other than that, guys, I'm gonna go now. Continue watching YouTube myself. Do these four listings. Um, also upload the next video on the YouTube channel. And um, do a little mess around on my gaming channel. Also, guys, so I've been doing a little bit of like mainly for. Funny enough, my gaming channel is bigger than this channel, but. I realised the levels of work going into a gaming channel to make to ever be like something crazy. So much work, guys. But I, I'm addicted to like that channel and making those videos. So I'm putting a bit of time into it to try and not just let it flop. The only way, like, I would ever like sacrifice a channel completely is if one channel was so successful. The other one. Well, the other one wouldn't have to go if one channel was successful because it will help the other channel. Maybe it could negatively impact it in the terms of audience retention or whatever, but you know what I'm saying. So, other than that, guys, I appreciate everyone who wrote through. See you guys in the next one for like the fourth time. And we out, you know what I mean?